Hey everyone, everyone and welcome, welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. 18. to today's vlog. We are starting the vlog a little late. It is like three o'clock now. I've just been spending the morning editing the Whistler vlog, which I really wanted to get up today, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make my way through it. We actually have to leave shortly. We're going to go to the US to pick up some packages, but also we need to grab some groceries. We haven't, we, we have like almost no groceries left. We wanted to go to Target, get some like Christmas wrapping paper and stuff. The last time I was there, they had almost nothing. <laughs> I did. I do you think, really think so? That do you think they still have stuff left? A couple of days before Christmas. Maybe so not. Up. Yeah, maybe not. But I do want to go to Canadian Tire because Canadian Tire has gift wrap and it looks like it's decent. It's not my favorite, but it, it'll go with my theme. Sebastian's gonna grab us some lunch. We haven't even eaten yeah. yet. We haven't done our advent calendar. Should we do it over here? Yeah. We, we have like a couple days time. to catch up on. You wanna go go grab them? We'll do them sure. right here. New background for the advent calendar. Also, new background on my TV. I've had basically the same artwork artwork on my TV for the last like two years, I wanna say, because the app was not allowing me to add new photos. I ended up like unpairing my TV and then repairing it and I'm finally able to change the background. So now I just wanna have a million different ones. I got this one on Etsy. I think they're like so beautiful, but I wanna get some of these like other Christmassy village looking ones that look like paintings. They're so, so beautiful. So we'll see what I end up sticking with, but I do really like this one too. So which date are we looking for? What's the last Well, we one? haven't done it since I don't know, should we go backwards again? Like start today and then go back? Sure. Because we haven't been keeping track. Until we see an already open door. Okay, okay so we're looking for the 18th? Yeah, all right. You ready? Yeah, one, go. two, three. <gasps> Found it! Oh wow, that was fast. Oh my gosh, I am i don't think you can catch up at this point. Okay, don't look anymore. I always love starting the day with chocolate. <laughs> I mean, I think you probably do, but I don't. Wow, I can't believe you got it right again. You really won big this year. So yeah, you need to update the tracker. With like, um, All my wins? Yeah, from Vista. And then this one. Can you grab it? I need to put it on something more festive. 18. 11. Oh no, I ran out of space. <laughs> All right, let's do day 17. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Found it. Are you even trying oh. this year? <laughs> I am. This is so unlike you. I know. I know what's going on. I don't think you can come back from this. Is it making you depressed and that's why yeah. you're like not trying anymore? You're like, I'm, I'm losing. Are you actually sad? No. Oh, okay. Because I'm getting chocolate. Here, you can have mine. Oh, cool. I wonder if you can catch up. Okay, I still have to count these, but I think I got like three in Whistler, right? I think I got three. Three out of four? Ready? 16? Yeah. One, two, three. Mm. Found it. Oh, found it. <laughs> What is happening to you? I don't know, you? you're so fast. Here, you're gonna have this one too. Mmm, thank you. Okay, so I have one. Is that three in a row just now? We might have already done 15, but already one, two, three. Found it. Oh, found it. All right. So we didn't. No, we didn't. I think you've only gotten five so far out of 18 days. Oh no. That means I got 13. That's wow. amazing. Yeah, I don't think I can. Catch, catch up? I don't think so. Like, if you're good at math, you know that that's not possible. <laughs> I'm really bad at math. Okay, so you're gonna grab us some Starbucks. I'm gonna yep. go back upstairs and keep editing. Were they honking? Yeah, but not as you. Oh, it's the doors. <laughs> All right, we are at... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute, so festive. They always have actually really good stuff here around the holidays. These doors are having a panic attack right now, but look at all this cute setup. Ooh, they've got so much stuff around here. Oh my gosh, Sebastian, they have such cute stuff. These little plates are so adorable. They have my um, ornaments again. Oh wow. These ones, I like them a lot. Oh, and they have these ones again too. I bought these like three years ago. These ones are cute too. I like these little bells. 
Looks like little gingerbread snowflakes. Wow. It's like glittery. And it's only $3.49. I feel like if this was at Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel, it would be like $12. I feel like Canadian Tire is such an underrated place for Christmas stuff, but they always have really nice stuff here. And unlike a lot of places that sell mostly just shatterproof ornaments, they always have a good selection of higher quality glass ornaments. I like all the gold. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, those. I have. Well, I have them in a different color. Yeah. I, you know what's weird is I'm like looking at this now and I feel like I used to have these exact ones and I yeah. haven't seen them in forever. And I must have lost them. This is super cute. It almost looks like a cookie, like a frosted cookie. Oh my gosh, this looks like the one that I made the other year. A little bird in a bird cage. That is so cute. If I hadn't already decorated my tree, I would probably be having a hard time right now. Okay, these large nutcrackers are also so cute. I don't know if this is made out of, but... I love the white. Actually, now that I look at it more, I think I like the wooden one even more. This is so nice. Isn't that why you this came is, here? Yeah, this is why I came. Okay. So I'm gonna get probably like two of those. Oh, I like these too. Scandinavian style. How do you feel about this style? A like Nordic Ikea style? Themselves. Yeah. We haven't gone to Ikea in a long time. I mean, it's not like they have the best I know, but I always stuff, go there around the holidays. Yeah. yeah. What should I use for mine? I don't have any gift wrap. You can use this. Do you want to buy another one of those? Sure. Okay. Look at these gift tags. They're so fun. <laughs> Sometimes I'm such a child. These are so cute! That is really I cute. wish this was red. That would be way more festive, but I love it. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, I didn't end up continuing to vlog last night because what happened was we left Canadian Tire to go to the US and because Sebastian doesn't have his Canadian citizenship yet, he has to go in every few months to get his like visa, I think. Long story short, we ended up being at the border for like over two hours and we had to turn around and come back to Canada. We couldn't even like cross because one of his application things he has to keep updated every however long was in pending status and it didn't actually get approved and we didn't know that you needed to have that approved before crossing because in the past you could just go in fill out a form and then you were good we ended up coming back to canada didn't end up picking up any of my packages or any groceries which is the real travesty because my fridge is completely empty i'm literally going through and like eating stuff out of my freezer that is probably a good thing but stuff that's super super old so last night i ended up coming back home and um, i did do something productive i ended up going through my entire dresser and some of like my baskets under the table here and some of the junk drawer and just taking out stuff that either needs to be thrown away or stuff that could be put in storage. Um, I had so much stuff in this dresser that is like old equipment from previous cameras and whatnot that I put into a box and brought downstairs, which made a lot more space for me to put other stuff away. So hopefully I can get this lower floor sorted because it's such a mess right now. Update time, it is a little, I don't know, I was about to say it's a little bit later. It's actually hours later. I was so tired. I stayed up really late last night and then I got up for work this morning because I had a meeting. So I ended up taking care of some other stuff when I would normally start work, but I didn't get very much sleep last night and so I was so tired after my last clip that I was like I need to take a nap and I don't even know how long I fell asleep for but I still feel really exhausted so I'm here drinking a coffee out of one of my old Starbucks mugs um, I'm actually sad because these mugs used to be so glossy and now they're so matte but I don't want to throw them away because they have sentimental value for me but I love them every year I would always go and I would buy the mugs that they had at Starbucks, whatever festive ones they had. I haven't done that in years, but I should see if they have any this year. So we're gonna make some dinner and every dinner I've introduced through a vlog was has been like something I saw on Instagram. But again, this is something I saw was inspired by on Instagram because my entire feed is basically just food and cute animal videos. So I get a lot of inspiration on Instagram. I'm gonna make chicken pot pie and I saw it and it's made with puff pastry. I've Never been like a huge fan of chicken pot pie. Like it's good. It's not something that's offensive in any way, but it was not, never anything that I would go to my way to have. And I've never made it before. So as with all of the other recipes that I have 
made throughout vlogmas i'm going to be using chicken thigh for this because i feel like it, it'll just taste better i don't know if that will be the case though because every recipe i saw online uses chicken breast i may be committing some type of sin here but i hope not because i just feel like it's going to taste much better with chicken thigh so i have some onion garlic chicken thigh one for you one for me i love how i have like nice wooden cutting boards and then i always just opt for the plastic ones why am i getting my own cutting board for the garlic i'm gonna cut up some onion and some celery can you grab me some gloves please yeah all right so let's go ahead and get started oh actually i was gonna ask you guys something do you like the the montages of food or would you rather see more like instructional food videos where i talk about what i'm doing the steps or like maybe like slowed down kind of like how i make the drinks where it's just like a, a shot of what i'm doing but it's not sped up let me know what you would prefer because i kind of like the slowed down a little bit more relaxed version as opposed to this kind of like almost gives you a heart attack because it's so like you know sped up so I'm, I'm open to like switching up the food style depending on what you guys are interested in seeing. This is just something I've always done and if it wasn't broken, I didn't fix it. <laughs> These gloves are way too big. What size is this one? They're very small. No, they're very big. These ones are very loose. The other ones fit me much tighter. Same size. No, they're not. I can tell. Small. Close. No, okay. I usually use extra small unless I've ordered the wrong size. Did I mention that I'm making it with puff pastry? I think I did. Anyways, this is the one we're using for puff pastry. It's the Tender Flake Puff Pastry. Fashion tried everywhere to find Pillsbury, he said, so this was the only one that was available. I think we're supposed to let this thaw. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Please jingle with me, baby. I wanna get to know you better. Um, I really liked it. I wish um, there would have been more of the puff pastry. Yeah, puff pastry stuff because I felt like but there wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. But I get it. You can't just put it everywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you no, can't but that's just how I felt everywhere. it. Like it would have been nice to have this because I like the texture because the stuff underneath was very kind of like mushy. <laughs> He's really describing like. this like if everyone wants to eat this. And I would have liked to have this other crunchy part more in there so that it's like a half half kind of thing i mean but it tasted amazing overall that's just like an improvement of thought it was amazing and i would highly recommend making it if you have the time because i think it takes a little bit longer than like you it actually usual. doesn't take that long it's just that filming it takes a long time it took two and a half hours with filming oh, wow. but to actually make it i think it might take like 45 minutes probably you bake it for about 25 minutes maybe like five minutes of prep 45. and then yeah, I think maybe like 45, 50 minutes to make it. So it does, it's something that takes a little bit longer, but maybe it's like a good Sunday evening dinner, you know, whatever. Still. But I do agree with what you said. Ordinarily, chicken pot pie has like a pie crust underneath. I just didn't buy a pie crust. I did a different recipe, but we could have done it with like a pie crust. And then it might've been more like what you envisioned where you have it on the bottom and the top rather than just the top. Mm. My theme for this vlogmas is like, I want to make a really cozy, comforting 
dishes. It was. Like well, a stew. Or like a, a soup. Of, like a soup. Uh, like yeah. stew and soup, right? But like, or like, like that, a... the mushy parts of it. No, stop like saying mushy. Stop <laughs> describing it as mushy. It was just a little bit thicker than a soup. Actually, it was a lot like the soup we had before. Yeah. It's both it's... very thick. It's gravy. But mushy. Stop saying mushy. Anyways, we're going to start wrapping some gifts. It's the 19th today, which if I get... I only have a few gifts here right now. I have like a bunch coming over the next couple days. But if I get these wrapped, I will be ahead like five gifts. That's not that many actually now that I think about it. <laughs> In my head, I was like, wow, if I get this done, five. I, I was thinking if I get this done, I'm going to be so far ahead and really I won't be. So we're gonna wrap gifts and we bought Christmas with the Cranks and gonna play that. It's one of my like favorite classic Christmas movies. We watch it every year a couple times. Tim Allen just does Christmas movies right. Even though he's like this cranky kind of sarcastic character usually, he always plays the same kind of character. I still just love the movie season. They always feel super festive to me. So for instance, The Santa Claus is like my all time favorite Christmas movie and always has been. So I have a soft spot in my heart for Tim Allen, but I was gonna show you all something. I've upgraded this Christmas. I don't know if anyone else will remember these, but there used to be these scotch tape. They were almost like a bracelet you put on the back of your hand and it would pop up a little piece of tape. So it was like very convenient to wrap gifts, but there was never enough tape in the packages. So you would run out of them really quickly. Anyways, it was this kind of tape. This it's like the invisible one and I loved it. And then this year I was trying to find it online and I I couldn't find it anywhere except for on Amazon where people were selling it for like $120 because they don't make it anymore. It's discontinued. Wow. So I was like, obviously I'm not going to do that. But instead I tried to find a different solution and I found this tape dispenser gun. It's called Favo Gift. I will link it. I got it on Amazon. People said in the comments that they will never wrap gifts without this again. So I'm hoping this is going to change my life because I personally find dealing with tape when you're wrapping gifts to be a nightmare. So you press this button and it like puts out a piece of tape and then it just like rips. Oh wait, that didn't work very well. Maybe it's no, gonna work no, no, you, Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Well, I've never used it before, but I think the way you did it was like, you, you do this. Yeah. And then you do this. No. no. Oh. No, that's pushing it out. Okay, well anyways, it's supposed to be amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out. Yeah, I probably like did when it, it works, it's amazing. So I'm, I'm digressing. It came with like clear, scotch tape, which I hate. I hate the one that you can actually see that's like all glossy. Also, I find it's more difficult to cut. I swapped out the roll in here for one of these ones. I just like took it out of the little dispenser here and then popped it in here. So I'm hoping this is going to be the magical tape solution I've always been looking for. If it is, I'll let you all know. Um, and then I also bought a gift wrap cutter. I have been seeing these ones for years that like are a little tube and you put them on the like, roll and then they're supposed to like cut. But I read a lot of reviews where people said that the blade gets dull and then it just like starts to snag the paper. So I looked up alternative solutions and this one had the best reviews and people said that it stays really sharp and it's much better than those like roll ones. So I'm hoping this is going to be a good solution. Basically what you do is you put, you feed the paper through here and then you slice through. So this is what it looks like. but I wanted to include it in this video just to give you all some time to prepare if you want to do the same thing. So we're going to make some snow globe cocktails for Christmas day or maybe like even Christmas Eve. So I have a couple options here. I'm going to use some wine glasses, 
and then some Prosecco glasses. On Instagram right now, there are lots of drinks going around, drink recipes going around where the glass is like a snow globe. So the way that you do it is you add like your ingredients to the bottom of the glass with some water and then you freeze it, which is why I wanted to add it to this vlog just for ample preparation time. So we're gonna use some cranberries and some rosemary and I'm gonna add them to the bottom of these glasses. And then we're also going to do some round ice cubes just for some options if we wanna like do a cute cocktail or something. I thought I would show you guys what the final product of these snow globe cocktail glasses looks like. One thing I didn't factor in when I was making them is that they would have to go in the freezer and we have like two racks. So they weren't able to stand up upright, but we did lay them on their side. So it still actually looks kind of cool. The ice froze on the side. I know some people actually do do that intentionally to make like cool looking ice in their glasses, but I did want to have more like the snow globe effect. So what I did is I made some new ones today with some white wine glasses, which are fortunately able to stand upright. Hopefully those ones will turn out nicer, but I still think these ones look pretty cool. And I also wanted to give an update on this little tape dispenser as well as this wrapping paper cutter. These made everything so much easier. I asked Sebastian if he wanted me to order him one of these like Favo gift tape dispensers. And he said, no, I'll just probably use like the regular dispensers. And then he ended up stealing this from me and basically taking complete ownership of it. So I actually had to like put off wrapping certain gifts so that he could use the, the tape dispenser, which is funny. And he also really loved this wrapping paper cutter. This was super convenient. So I'm hoping to get another vlog up before Christmas uh, for the 24th. We'll see if it actually happens. I'm gonna try everything to get one up. But if I don't talk to you before Christmas, then I'm wishing you all a very wonderful Christmas. I hope that you have a very relaxing, not stressful day and that you just get to enjoy yourself and be with your loved ones. That's like what I hope for every year is just to have a stress-free day. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye. Merry Christmas.